Let's go back to school shopping at Staples. Staples is having a 50% off sale off their school supplies. So everything is very affordable in my opinion, especially if you have multiple children. Some of these things you may or may not need, but a lot of the brand names are um, pretty pricey, but more affordable when they're on sale. And you know the teachers do request it just because they function better. I used to be that parent who would not buy a $7 box of pencils, but now that I've become more well-versed when going school supply shopping, I now realize that there are deals and I don't have to buy the $7 pencils. I can actually get them for 4 and $3. And if you're following me on Facebook, you know that I have been finding Ticonderoga pencils at Dollar Tree. So I'm trying to stick to a theme this year. My daughter is going to the fifth grade and I don't want to get into characters, but I do want to more so focus on a color. Now looking back, I should have grabbed those teal headphones instead of the dark purple ones because they blend better because we went to Dollar Tree after this. I may or may not go back. <laughs> it depends. Now that I'm watching this video back, I think 99% I'm going to go back. So please do not make this shopping experience traumatic. The purpose of this video is not to make the shopping experience traumatic with the price increase of everything. These big mechanical pencils that everybody loves is on sale for $5.99. You can get 20 in a pack. So you definitely don't have to break the bank and you can split that box between multiple children. You don't have to give one child that whole box. The Sharpie S notes are also on sale. So a lot of things that are great in quality that a lot of kids like now that once they get older in age and higher in grade level, we can't really skimp on the name brand. I mean, you can, but the children in school now is very cruel. So if you can just throw an extra dollar in there too, go ahead. If your child isn't a materialistic person and don't care, then that may not apply to you. School supply shopping for me heals my inner child, so I like to get nice things just because I'm drawn to them or I like them. And I know personally I can't be no teacher teaching nobody kids, so I'm going to get what you want and I'm going to sprinkle some razzle dazzle on there as well. I was really salty about the book bag selection. My daughter can only take clear mesh and then you know those varieties are not that great. I decided I'm going to order on Amazon because they have a lot of PVC book bags that's more durable and can hold more items without ripping. And I'm trying to get one of quality so I don't have to continue to buy one every year. Then we scoot it over to Dollar Tree. Please do not wait to the last minute to get your items because the stuff is gonna be picked over. That's not gonna be a great selection. Go ahead and get it now. If you can get it, grab it. For me, I'm actually shopping for my stash because the things that I've took out of my stash, I'm kind of replacing. If you are on a budget, the best bet is to get the little things now and about three weeks after school, everything is going to go on clearance. That is how I built my stash. These flashcards on a ring or a spiral are great for note taking or spelling words. And then this entire back wall has everything. You see, I'm kind of going with the theme, but I was just so overwhelmed. They have post-it notes also with the lines. So, and then you guys, I ran out of footage. So this is going to be the end of the video. Stay tuned for the haul.